If you are in crypto, having a hardware wallet is a no-brainer and a must-have. However, I feel that they can give people a false sense of security, so it's very important to know what they can and can't protect you from. That's why in this video, I'll explain to you how a hardware wallet works and what to watch out for. First thing you need to understand is what is a wallet and what you can see here on the screen. This is the most basic form of a wallet. So the only thing that you need is a public key, what we see on the left, and a private key is what we see on the right. So if you print this on a piece of paper, then you have, as you can guess, a paper wallet. Bitcoin.com made a slightly fancier version of this and as you can see it looks like a coupon and they covered the private key right here so only if you remove the seal you will be able to see the private key but yeah guess what somebody had to print this paper so it is possible that somebody has that private key. They also compare it to a $20 bill and I think that's a very good comparison. So if you have this little piece of paper in your wallet, somebody steals your wallet and they read your private key and your public key, they have everything that is in that address. Now, of course, just having these two pieces of information is not enough. You should be able to interact with the network as well. So you need a piece of software to enter your public and private key and to do some interactions. You can imagine doing this every time typing in your private key along with your public key is a bit of a hassle. The solution comes in the form of wallets we all know and use. The most popular one is MetaMask, which will generate and manage your keys, show your balances, and interact with the blockchain with just the click of a button. No need to manually enter keys or manually look up balances on the blockchain. So most of the wallets that we use these days come in the form of either a mobile app, a desktop executable, or a browser plugin like MetaMask, for example. So what happens next if you install the MetaMask plugin? Well, basically you will go through a little wizard and it will generate your keys for you. So the issue of course with these hot wallets is that they store the keys in an encrypted file on your device, whether it's your computer or your mobile phone, it doesn't matter. It is on a quote unquote hot system. And with a hot system, we mean that it's on a device that is connected to the internet and therefore it is exposed to hacking. So anyone who gets access to your device can get a hold of that encrypted file. And once they have that encrypted file, the only thing they have to do next is get the password, which can be done in two ways. They can install a keylogger on your device, or they can simply try and brute force crack your, uh, your password. Again, that is why you want to have passwords that are long enough, not easy to guess, and preferably as random as possible. I wouldn't be making this video if there wasn't a better solution. And of course there is, it is called a hardware wallet. Hardware wallets are different because they're not connected to the internet and the keys are stored on the device itself with the promise that the keys will never leave the device. This means that you have to physically get a hold of the device and guess the pin code or in this case you need the fingerprint. So most devices will lock your hardware wallet after several attempts which prevents hackers from performing a brute force attack even when they get a hold of the device. Now, very important, just like hot wallets, almost all hardware wallets require you to write down a backup code known as the seed phrase. You can see seed phrase here on the screen. It will either be 12 words or 24 words. And I don't have to explain to you that 24 is, of course, more secure than 12. Now, what is the seed phrase used for? Well, basically, when you generate a wallet, this seed phrase can reconstruct everything in that wallet so that also means that if you delete everything on your pc or you lose your mobile phone or you lose your password this is your last resort now to make things more clear even if you have a hardware wallet and you decide to write down those 12 or 24 words in a simple text file and you put it on your pc or on your smartphone well guess what then this is even less secure than your metamask wallet on your browser because anyone who gets access to that simple text file, they just open it up, they go to a software wallet, they import the different words, and they click import, and then they have access to everything in that wallet. It doesn't matter if it was a hardware wallet or a hot wallet, they will get full access. No guessing, no cracking, simply copy pasting the information and they're good to go. Therefore, the best thing that you can do is write it down and store it in a secure place like a bank vault. Don't leave it open for everyone to see because yeah, otherwise you can pass by, make a picture and again, you will have full control. So write this down, close it up, seal it in an envelope and store it somewhere very safe. This brings us to the next topic. And as I mentioned in the introduction, a hardware wallet isn't perfect either and it might give people a false sense of security. So when buying a hardware wallet, you need to trust that the manufacturer truly made the device secure. 
You also need to understand that a lot of manufacturers, they preload the keys on your device, so you have to trust them that they don't store a copy of it. Next, you have to trust the vendor selling the device. So if you're planning to buy one from eBay, you might want to reconsider because there are actually fake devices circulating out there. And even if everything is working well, you still have to trust that the manufacturer doesn't create a new firmware update that can extract your private keys. For example, like Ledger did. Of course, they're not exactly extracting your private keys to use them, but they did this to make a recovery service. And this pissed off some people, of course, in the uh, crypto community. This also brings me to the idea that if somebody would ever be able to hack the manufacturer's firmware update server, well, then you have a problem as well. But of course, this is also applying to any update servers, just like the one for Apple or Microsoft. And last but not least, it is very important that you can trust yourself not doing stupid shit. So you could have guessed that the biggest weakness in this entire list is you, the user. So remember, a hardware wallet cannot protect you from confirming on a scam or phishing website that the website can spend 100% of your tokens. This is your fault. It has nothing to do with a hardware wallet or even a hot wallet. This is you signing the transaction and you giving permission to somebody else. Next, if you decide to leave your hardware wallet lying around everywhere in your local Starbucks at the McDonald's and so forth, and you decide to use a pin code that is four times zero, four times one, who knows, and everything gets drained from your wallet, well, this of course is on you. Use a strong pin code, don't use something simple, if possible, use six or eight numbers. And lastly, if you decide to write down your seed phrase and paste it on your monitor or you put it in a text file. Again, this is on you. This is you not taking the necessary steps. Now, before closing off this video, if you are planning to buy a hardware wallet and you want to support the channel, then I suggest to take a look at the description of this video. There will find a bunch of affiliate links to different hardware wallets. So that would help me a lot if you would use those links. Of course, if you don't want to, no problem at all. Just go to the websites directly to buy your hardware wallet. Good. That's it for this video. If you got any questions, just post a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.